Right guys, welcome to Saturday the 6th of June. As you can tell, I'm in the barn again. I'm hiding away because it's blowing a gale outside. Don't know how well the camera will pick this up. If we zoom out... Yeah, it's blowing a bit out there. <laughs> We've had quite a bit of rain as well, so at least that's a good part of it. The grass is starting to turn green again from being brown, which is nice. Which means, hopefully, that and that will start burning some diesel, making some day some bales. Um, they should be about ready to go. And so I'm still disappointed in that front panel, but in fact, I may. That's my little template I made. That's the original two holes, and that third hole is where the new panels are. That's how far out it is. <sighs> Joy. So today's job. Right, hold, hold tight, I'm going to put you on the stand. If we can do it, there we go. So, today's job is this tyre. So, I've had a... This, oh, start from the beginning. This is off the uh, Fella rake. This is a spare tyre that I have kicking around. Um, tried repairing it before, but it was that flat. Uh, put some air in it still went down so there's a problem with it so I've taken off the rim put my hand on the inside of it and found a big th a big thorn sticking in it um, I have been over this already to have a look if I could see anything but couldn't find it um, you can usually run your fingers over and find little lumps and cuts and whatever else just found one there as well but it's just a bit of rubber so I found it on the inside tried putting out a pair of pliers but it wouldn't come out it was just brittle in fact, I've just found it as well. So, if you look there, that was what was inside that tyre. So, I tried to get on the inside of it and pull it out with a pair of pliers. And it snapped the end off. Couldn't dig it out with a knife from the other end because it's just brittle now. It's been in there for a, however long. So, what I actually had to do is a bit of a butchery and stick a nail in. So, I actually got a pin nail and the hammer and just drove it through just end up hitting it through to take it out which means there is a hole in here but there's any tube in it anyway so yeah part of the fun um did have a battle trying to get the inner tube out this is the old inner tube I took the valve out and so how well you can see that took the valve out and it's still not going flat well, stuff me. I don't know if it's showing now. There we go. It's got a tire sealant on the inside of it. And annoying how it's actually filled up. It's actually stopped the leak. <sighs> I know you shouldn't, you shouldn't have this in. I don't know who put it in, to be honest. But you can hear it now. Um, so that was a bit of a battle trying to get that in. Sorry, it helps. Even with the valve out. So, if that had worked before, I'd have been quite happy. I wouldn't have to do all this. So, um, inner tube's in, it's a second hand inner tube with a patch on it already, but you can't win them all. Uh, to get it all out, you can see my tub of soap and my little brush and a couple of bars as well, tire irons as they call them. Um, these are off eBay, I think it were. It was like 25 quid for bars and soap. And the soap doesn't half make a difference as well. So, yeah, not too bad really. Uh, got the inner tube in. I was going to say as well, I've actually got this little tool, which is quite handy as well. So, on this end, there is actually a, get the soap off, a valve remover, a little twisty end. Take out your uh, valve cores. Which is good and then you've got a little cap on the end with a lead as well just to stick on the end of that valve which then holds it in place hopefully so it just twists some so if it does for some reason go inside you can always pull on it to try and get it back in sometimes that head actually just doesn't let it back in either so yeah been having a bit of fun you could call it 
and yes, I'm cheating. I've got a pair of mole grips as well. I'm no professional. <laughs> I just want to get on with it. I did try this before, but it went chuffing up that day. And I could not be bothered to do it. So, never mind. You see, if you watch Power P, he managed to do this in the field. Good on you, Ian. I don't like doing it in the field. I quite happily do it in my band, or in my hand. Chilled out. Right. Just going to try and put a little bit on inside. I want the rim as well. Should have raised that before I started, but this is me doing it. So, I can find the hard way, I probably do. And then just, I'll just wait around my knee, just try and get it somewhere near as much as you can do without using the bars, the better. There's loads of videos of putting tyres on anyway. And the more you can stick it into the centre of the, the rim as well, the better. So, hopefully, I'm not trying to kick the camera out there, so it's just a case of around and trying not to nip the inner tube you can actually put a bit of air into the inner tube that helps uh, to not get nipped if you're putting your tyre back on I haven't bothered just haven't bothered so hopefully you can see alright and then you get to a certain point well, she'll still start going herself. It's just a little by little job. I know I've done it with a screwdriver and stuff, but it's a lot easier with a tire in. Little tools make life a little bit easier. And I like it easy. Easy is good. Oh, she's nearly there. Pop, done. So, we're all sat on now. We're all sitting in the right place. Make sure you can start to see something. So, little valve back in. In fact, that could be the, the old one. Yeah, it looks like the old one. It's still got a bit of mank on there. I don't know if you can see it very well. I'll keep that valve anyway, just as a spare. You never know. Times of emergency and all that jazz. Right. We'll go put some air in it, and hopefully she's done. Right, we'll leave it there, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And I shall catch you later. Cheers. Bye.